Good morning. Welcome to this Sunday's worship service. We're again back into these recorded services, at least for the month of January. Let us be begin with the opening hymn, We are baptized in Christ Jesus. We are baptized in Christ Jesus, we are baptized in his death, that as Christ is raised victorious, we may live a brand new life. And if we have been united in a dreadful death like this, we will all be Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the fountain of living water, the rock who gave us birth, our light and our salvation. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By water and your word you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life, and above all we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus Christ. Shower us with your spirit and renew our lives with your forgiveness, grace, and love. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you anointed Jesus at his baptism with the Holy Spirit and revealed him as your beloved Son. Keep all who are born of water and the Spirit faithful in your service, that we may rejoice to be called children of God, through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. First reading, a reading from Isaiah. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba, in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you, I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the end of the earth, everyone who is called by my name, whom I traded for my glory, whom I formed and made. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second reading. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet the Spirit had not come upon any of them, they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to Luke, as the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptized you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will, be, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened. And the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. So many were wondering, was John the Baptist the Messiah? John gave the answer to that himself. Someone much more, power, much more powerful will come after him. 
John baptized with water, Jesus with the Holy Spirit and fire. In the sacrament of baptism, God calls us by name to be God's own. We become members of the Christian community. In baptism, God brings people into the community of Christ, into the community of the worldwide church. The power of baptism is strong, it is permanent, it will last forever. I hold vast baptisms very dear to my heart. I have had an honor and privilege to baptize quite a few during my short time as pastor. All of them are special. Then I really can't name anything what would be any more meaningful than the other. All baptisms are so wonderful that I can't even begin to describe. Because there is something in baptism that I can't really even, I can't describe. It is something tender, something touching, and something so beautiful. It's God's presence in God's congregation. And in those moments, well, at least that's how it feels to me, that God connects with all who are present in a very special way. Maybe for each of us, the Holy Spirit comes from heaven and, heaven and says, You are my child. I love you very much. We all are God's children with whom God, with whom God is very well pleased. The cornerstone of the Christian life is the gift of faith in baptism. Each one of us can choose what to do with it. After Christmas, there might be many different thoughts about the gifts each of us received. Maybe they are gifts we wonder if they could be exchanged, returned or re-gifted. However, the gift of baptism is one gift we cannot exchange or return. This gift is permanent. Baptism opens a way to a community of faith, to a community of Christians. We belong together. We belong to a congregation of believers. We belong to the communion of Christians. Paul wrote to the Galatians, In Christ Jesus, we, you are all children of God through faith. As many of you are, you were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female. For all of you are one in Jesus Christ. Each and every one of us is a member of God's family. We are one in Christ Jesus. Doesn't matter how different we may be from each other, we still can and are able to be together. Where, we, where each of us come from, where we live, or to where we are journeying, does not matter. The one and only thing that matters is that we are baptized, woven together in sacrament, children of God. I wonder, and have wondered time to time, why do we people so often draw a line between us and, and those others? Why do we want to separate us from the others? And I'm just as guilty as that as anyone else. Wouldn't it be better if we would try to look for what connects us together, what is similar in us? There are a lot of times still in this new year, it's not that far away, to make a few promises. How, what do we call them? Uh, resolutions, that's right, resolutions. And I will try to make at least one. I try to do my best to find more things that unite us people rather than separates us from each other. We all are united even though each of us is different. In today's Gospel text, Luke tells us that when Jesus was baptized, a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. When each of us has been baptized, or will be baptized, as many will be, this whole event will proclaim the important God's message. You are my child, my daughter, my son. 
I love you very much. That is the very core message today from God. Amen. Let us join in the singing the hymn of the day, Spirit of Gentleness.
As a whole church, let us confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. United as one body in Christ, let us pray for the Church, the world, and all those in need. We pray for the Church. Pour out your Spirit upon us and enliven us for a mission. Draw us together in love that we may be one. Lead us in the way of your beloved Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the earth. Sustain oceans and seas, rivers and lakes, marshes and wetlands. Watch over dormant plants and hibernating animals as they rest in your care. Renew your creation and protect all creatures from harm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the nations. Inspire leaders to work for the common good. Grant courage to those who put themselves at risk to protect others. Turn us away from violence and teach us to live in peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in need. Protect children of vulnerable adults who depend on others to provide for their daily care. Uphold those who struggle with depression. Control the grieving and heal the sick, especially those whom we name in our hearts or aloud. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With thanksgiving, remember those who died. Hold us safe in your arms of mercy and bring us with them into your promise of life eternal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive our prayers and fill us with radiance of your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Let us join in the singing the sending him shall we gather at the river.
Thanks be to God. See you soon. Bye-bye.